فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and blessings of the Almighty be upon you all. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Insha'Allah today we will be going through two of the quotations of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, known as Hadith, the plural of which is Ahadith. These are the sayings of the Messenger of Allah Almighty, Muhammad, may peace be upon him. The first one is An Abi Sa'idin radiyallahu anhu Anna Rasulallahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qal Inna ash-shaytana qal Wa'izzatika ya rabbi La abrahu aghwi ibadaka Ma damat arwahuhum Fi ajsadihim Faqal al-rabbu tabaraka wa ta'ala Wa'izzati wa jalali La azalu aghfiru lahum Mastaghfaruni Rawahu al-zahabiyu this is a narration of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. May Allah be pleased with him, who says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, has said, The devil said to his Lord, By your glory and majesty, as long as the children of Adam are living on earth, I shall continuously misguide them. Allah Almighty replied, By my glory and majesty, as long as they seek my forgiveness, I will continue to forgive them. This is reported by Imam Dhahabi and it is an authenticated narration. It is amazing how the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has explained to us that shaitan will continue to lead man astray and the Almighty will continue to forgive those who seek forgiveness. This would actually make us want to seek forgiveness. It will make us hopeful and it should be making us people who realize the value of seeking the forgiveness of the Almighty and the fact that the Almighty will readily forgive anyone who asks for forgiveness or who repents. What a beautiful quotation. What a beautiful reminder. So much of hope in this beautiful religion of hope. The second hadith is... عن أنس رضي الله عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول قال الله تعالى يا ابن آدم إنك ما دعوتني ورجوتني غفرت لك على ما كان منك ولا أبالي يا ابن آدم لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرتني غفرت لك ولا أبالي يا ابن آدم إنك لو أتيتني بقراب الأرض خطايا ثم لقيتني لا تشرك بي شيئا لأتيتك بقرابها مغفرة رواه الترمذي أنس ابن مالك May Allah be pleased with him reports that the Prophet peace be upon him has said Allah the Almighty has said O son of Adam so long as you call upon me and ask of me I shall forgive you for what you have done and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth and were you then to face me ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as that. This narration is quoted in Sunan al-Tirmidhi. It shows us the mercy of Allah Almighty once again. And it shows us that the Almighty will definitely forgive us and He won't mind for as long as we seek that forgiveness. And this is why it is so important to seek the forgiveness of the Almighty on a daily basis. The Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, used to seek the forgiveness of the Almighty up to a hundred times a day. And the reason was for us to learn a lesson from this beautiful tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. I hope and I pray that these few words can encourage us to seek the forgiveness of the Almighty. And I really hope and pray that these few words can have a positive impact on us and change us. 
making us better people. Wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of the Almighty be upon you all.